now time for what many people will consider to be the main event of our program every day uh, here on wake up worlds and that sigh says it all folks yeah, yeah, yeah. i asked tyler one question mm. near the end of the show and that is to gauge his optimism in north america at worlds and i really hope mm. that you were with us at the start of the program because mm. that probably gave you a good idea on where his optimism lies mm. I will tell you that if you've been watching Wake Up World since the very beginning of play-ins when we started the show, optimism was high. He was at a 10, even higher than a 10. Things were going great. Team Liquid was wearing three-piece suits. They were business-like. There was the Secret Service in the bot lane. We were riding high. But then, we are here now, today, especially what happened today which will be remembered forever as a day of sorrow and sadness. But now we must ask the question to be diligent and for chat and for the memes, Tyler. Where is your NA optimism today? Uh, first off, I just want to say a 10 for my optimism scale was one team being the top eight. My, my, my optimism scale was 10 wasn't winning worlds. 10 was my, 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 legit, like my rational optimism peak of one team from north america making top eight that was my peak that's why i was excited i thought the group stage draw was as perfect as it could be for one of these teams to make it out i was i was hyped i got into my own my own head i hyped myself up i created these own narratives writing them in my head about you know how team liquid could make it out how tsm could make it out how could even supply quest could make it out <clears throat> It's been four day. It's been two days, four games, and I don't think we've won a team fight yet, uh, which is kind of concerning. I, I think you have to usually win team fights to actually win League of Legends games, more often than not. I I've gone down from my seven that I was at yesterday after the O two day. Uh, I'm at I'm at a two. I'm at a two. I I. I feel really bad. I just don't. I feel it was a gut punch. It was. It was really a gut punch. And you know, I, I even after the Machi game, I was like, okay, T Liquid could still be more talented. And then watching the TSM versus Gen G game, and I was just like, out. They were outclassed, and it wasn't. I can't make a tweet about. it. I can't be like, oh man, they made this mistake here. They made a mistake there. They made the level one mistake against Fnatic, where you could say all oh, these small mistakes turned into big victories for the other team. Where it's this here is like. Genji's just better. And that hurts. And it hurt because you look back, you know, five years ago, kind of the the first iteration of, of this rivalry, if you could call it that, was the Samsung Galaxy versus TSM game uh, where I was there in San Francisco, where famously Lucian, uh, or Double Lift on Lucian, uh, got instantly deleted by Crown, uh, Samsung Galaxy, now Genji, uh, got deleted instantly. In a in a moment where TSM could have gone barren and won that game and advanced onto the top eight, where everything went wrong from that moment on, and but back then that was a close, a very close series. TSM won one of those round robin games. Like they could have two would Samsung, who would go on to be a finalist, that who pushed SKT to five games in that final, and you go from that where TSM back then was so well respected, people thought they were a top four team. They thought. I would, these were the pros I was talking to, like the Korean pros and Chinese pros. Honestly, believe that TSM could be a finalist that year. They were that mm. good, wow. and that was such a competitive series. And you know, Double Up gets mean for that moment to this day, but that was still such an exciting game where there was two evenly matched teams going at their higher their powers in a back and forth tussle, very similar to the Suning versus G two game of today, where Suning lost, but man. That was a war, and then you look at today with G, uh, with, with with Suning or not Suning with Team Liquid and TSM. Team Liquid and TSM, TSM versus Gen G, and you know Bjergsen and, and Biofrost and Double F are still there. Only ruler remains from that Samsung Galaxy team now on Gen G, but it's just different classes, just different class. Maybe for different draft, maybe maybe if a team fighting composition, maybe, but. It just hurts, and I'm down to a two, and I don't even want to think about tomorrow if we go 0-2 again. Can we uh, just show that graphic one more time? <clears throat> I just want to point out, 
I just want to point out to the audience that Tyler's mm. face has changed. We we you need emotes, man. We, oh, we need to I'm make so sad. Beyond on fire emotes is what we really need. I, I can only imagine what's gonna happen if your NA optimism reaches zero and what your face would be then. I just like this is my job. My job is to come on the show and to and to and to basically break <laughs> down and, and just to watch me slowly die you, inside and I mean, we're at two, we're two today. Tomorrow it's a uh, fly quest versus unicorn of love, and shooting versus team liquid. And uh, if fly quest loses unicorns of love, and if team liquid loses the shooting, uh, we might need a new graphic that goes below zero because yeah. I, I, I might, oh I might need a new co-host if that happens. Oh, we may uh, not yeah. be able to find you. Yeah, yeah, you you might have just Jacob Wolf just pop out of nowhere and just be the, the new, the new <laughs> so, co-host no, on the show. I, I might have to find someone new. We may not uh, be able to find you in the fetal position on the ground like oh, we did yesterday. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm going to Valorant, man. I'm going back to Valorant. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right, uh, first strike, let's go. <laughs> first strike tournament, like Valorant, like let's go. How about Thieves announcement? Let's go. Um, Under okay. Thieves, yeah. Okay. But All right, let's tomorrow, go. tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow, uh, if you thought today was a calamity, tomorrow might be worse.